Okay, repairing uh, the PM5133 part 2. In part 1 I discovered that the power amplifier uh, is okay, the DC amplitude control is okay. Now I have no signal at the output. So let's check why there is no signal. So going back to the control stage, I see there is a, a part in which we can see if there is an output. This is the int modulation output that signal. Let's see if that signal is okay. Okay, this is the rear panel. Int modulation is that connector. By putting a BNC connector at this output, we can say that the signal is present. So, nice. At that stage, the signal is okay. When it is in burst mode, is a square wave of frequency 16.7 or 6. When I switch the power to mode to sweep, sweep mode, that signal become a so taught signal. When I put to normal, that signal is a DC voltage. So uh, the inter intermodulation signal is okay. By looking at the schematic, this signal is okay. The signal goes to this uh, integrated circuit that is a 422. The 422 is a SN7400 LS04, that is an inverter. By checking with the scope, the signal here is OK. Here is a square wave. Then I have a configuration like two NANDs in flip-flop mode. Here I have a square wave, but at the output, here I have a DC voltage that is about a 3.56, and here I have a DC voltage that is a 4.6. Here is a zener, I measure 15. So the question is, is that normal that if I put a square wave here, I have at the output a DC voltage here. This is just to understand if this port is broken or something wrong is inside the circuit. Okay, by putting a probe to the integrated circuit that is the NAND, I check the output, excuse me, the input. The input is a square wave. So the signal is OK. When I put the scope at the output of the NAND stage, I found the DC voltage. I think this is the problem. Maybe there is a NAND gate that is broken. Let's see in the next part if there is this default for this signal function generator.